The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Navi Pile, has lauded the ruling of the Special Court for Sierra Leone, which today found former Liberian leader Charles Taylor guilty of planning, aiding and abetting war crimes and crimes against humanity, saying the verdict marked a milestone in the development of international justice. The judgment delivered today in the case of Charles Taylor before the Special Court of Sierra Leone is uh, truly significant because it's a delivery of international criminal justice. It shows how far international criminal law has developed to hold even the most powerful accountable, where it is clear that they bear responsibility for serious human rights violations. In this case, it's the very first time that an international criminal tribunal has convicted a former head of state. Even the most powerful are accountable under international law. Taylor was charged with 11 counts of war crimes, among other atrocities committed against civilians in neighboring Sierra Leone during the country's civil war in the 1990s, which he was accused of supporting, including the recruitment of child soldiers. Charles Taylor entered a not guilty plea at the trial that began in June 2007. Uh, most definitely, Your Honor, I did not and could not have committed these acts against the sister republic of Sierra Leone. I think that this is an attempt uh, to, to continue to divide and rule the people of Liberia and Sierra Leone, and so most definitely I'm not guilty. Now, can I take that plea of not guilty as applying to the whole 11... Pili emphasized that the ruling was a landmark case and should be used as a deterrent by other leaders. The UN Human Rights Chief noted that the international criminal justice system sends a strong message of accountability and deterrence on the part of important political leaders against this kind of crimes. She cited other leaders indicted at the International Criminal Court who have also been charged with international crimes and are either already on trial or will be soon. Together with the case of Charles Taylor, other leaders have also been indicted. We know of former President Bagbo, Laurent Bagbo of uh, Cote d'Ivoire, um, the late uh, Muhammad Gaddafi, and uh, Radovan Karadzic. He's facing trial in the ICTY. I note here that the uh, arrest of President uh, Omar al-Bashir is still outstanding. The indictment has been issued by the International Criminal Court some time ago. And all these send a very strong signal of uh, deterrence against serious crimes. Welcoming the judgment, Pile said it was an indication of justice for victims of war crimes who have for so long cried out for justice and never got it. Judges went through more than 50,000 pages of witness testimony during the four-year trial. More than 120,000 lives were claimed in a war that reached for 10 years between 1991 and 2001.